Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. In this tutorial we'll look at a cool way that you can use the echo system. We'll be creating an image that looks like something that might be from Dragon Ball Z or, or something like that. In the beginning let's just create our terrain okay, and we'll right click on the terrain and go to Edit Object let's reset it and go select our brushes and let's select um, this brush, hole 2. If you have any questions about our brushes or how to use them you can check our previous tutorials on brushes and also we'll be working with the distribution of materials. It would probably be helpful for you to view that tutorial as well for this project if you haven't seen it before. Let's just increase the size here and We'll just click like this and create one in the middle. And let's just add some effects to this. Just a few stones and give it a rougher look. And if we preview this, um, what we have at this point. So now, let's create a sphere. And what we'll do with the sphere is we'll position it right over that crater. Just right, get it centered. And we'll drop it in the ground. And we're just getting this snuggled right in, positioning it so that we like it. How it is. And now, when we have it in the right place, we'll select the train and the object, the sphere, at the same time. And we'll go to the boolean operation and we'll just subtract. So what we have in the end here now is going to be just a second. There you go. It's going to be kind of eaten out. To make it look even better, let's go to the train and we'll make it a little taller. So we can have it affected like affected by the sphere more so here you go the mound is somehow scooped out like maybe someone took a giant ice cream scoop to it there we go And when we like the position, what we'll do is we'll take our camera and move it around, move it a little closer so it can preview it better. And now we have something that's kind of like a crater with this ground. And let's assign a material now so that we can see what's going on easier. Let's select our train, open the materials editor, and inside we create a mixed materials. And now one of the best ways to go about this is just like we did in the distribution of materials tutorial, using the solid colors first. Okay, so we have it May making it easier to assign them. We have it this way. a little bit that way a little bit that way there okay we'll do some blending now we'll position it that way and let's um, let's go inside the sphere and put mixed materials on that one as well. Now what we'll do is we'll just assign approximately the same materials. But but I think we're going to move it a little more to the 
towards the green, but what we're doing now is we're trying to recreate, recreate, and we'll, you'll see we have the green going, and when you're kind of satisfied with it, click OK, and let's preview, and see what we have. So in this case, we can easily see how the material distribution works and how it's laid out. And when you're satisfied with the distribution, we'll now assign the right materials. And this red color, let's turn that into some grass. And to the green, we'll probably add melted rocks. Let's decrease the scale on the rocks a little bit. And let's go in our sphere, and that one will probably be kind of more interesting to change. In the green one, we'll have melted rocks, which is the same. But in the red, we'll have sand. And with our sand, we're going to go to Edit Functions, and in the bump, let's add a splitter, and let's add another noise, and here in the noise, we'll just go to Line Patterns, and we'll select the cracks. Okay? So let's preview this. So if we look at this point, this is what we'll see. It's like some high heat explosion or a force field was here and it was just kind of pushing away the material and it's melting and it's cracking around and the grass is kind of at the base of it. Of course, yeah, with the ground we'll add something else. But for now, we'll just keep it this way to help us preview it in rendering and to work with it. So this is fun, but the problem right now, it doesn't really look like an explosion, even though there is an interesting effect. What we're missing is the debris. Without particles, it's hard to add in all this flying debris and rocks. So next, we'll just create another sphere, and we'll make it a little bit, a little bit bigger, and we're going to switch the materials to basic gray, and now we'll select the ecosystem right here, and here's when the magic starts. We'll add just rocks, let's reduce the scale a little bit, and maybe a little bit reduce the density, and let's populate it. And now look at this. It's populating kind of over the sphere. So I'll probably want to decrease the scale a little more. And populate it a little more. And again, we'll move this and preview it here a little. We probably want to disable decay near foreign objects. And we can just keep working at it, fiddling with the scale and density until we get it to look just exactly how we want it to look. Okay, so when we're satisfied with this, let's go to materials and now we'll just set the transparency to a hundred percent and we'll disable the highlights, we'll disable this one and let's go look over everything translucency, reflections, and everything's fine. And let's reduce our ambient light a little as well. Okay, and there you go. At this point, if we go back and look at what we have, there are these flying rocks up like around and above. All we need to do now is to rotate it. And if when you rotate it, you press shift, it kind of locks. 
so you can write it by degrees and it's much easier that way you don't have to have this kind of guessing game did I rotate it too much or not enough and so now here they are flying up out of the creator, crater and the force is just like pushing them up and out so now we have just another effect we want to add here so let's go and let's import poser it's a simple model but if you want you can create your own I'll put this model and we'll make it smaller and we're going to put it in the middle here and we'll just get it in here so it's just right just about well, maybe right here down a little bit okay let's change also the color on the model to some kind of glowing material I think this one is glowing a little too much so we may want to decrease the intensity and the radius just to make it a little bit below and let's create another sphere around him but this time in this sphere we'll just add we'll just change it maybe to something ethereal This here we go something glowy maybe the screen fuzz and let's go in here and decrease the density a little bit here okay and here's our render and there's some special force some powerful guy like from the Dragon Ball Z as we said or some place in the imagination that is creating and controlling this force and pushing it from the inside and now like we said before we want to work with the ground a little bit to make it a little more interesting we can go to the ground and we're going to change it to water and we'll select the tropical water and let's bring in our atmosphere make it something interesting to look at it and if you want we can change the angle of the camera a little bit to get just the right view and here we'll just make our finished render and there you go and doesn't that look just fantastic and you can do it in a different way too and and here's another example of doing almost the exact same thing but with a twist and you can see that we've used the ecosystem to do this and but we put it on a different angle just enjoy your creativity with this playing around with the particle effect with the ecosystem in Vu and we're happy that you've watched this Geek at Play Studio tutorial if you want to learn more cool things you can do with Vu or want some more resources or have any questions please visit us at www.geekatplay.com <laughs>